योर क्वेश्चन इज द फर्स्ट टू टर्म्स इन असेंडिंग पावर ऑफ एक्स इन द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ वन प्लस एक्स टू माइनस एक्स बाई फोर टू द पावर ऑफ एन आर पी प्लस क्यू एक्स स्क्वायर फाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ एन पी एंड क्यू नाउ इफ यू सी दिस तो दे आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन हियर वॉट दे आर गिवन सी दैट वन प्लस एक्स एंड द सेकेंड इज टू माइनस एक्स बाई फोर एंड द पावर इज एन If you see this, this is equal to this. They have given like that. So this is equal to p plus q x square. Here x is not there. X is not there. That means the coefficient of x is zero. So now we will rewrite it as p plus zero x plus q. x square. This is your zero. So now we will find out this. What is that? See that. This is the multiplication of this, and this we have to expand it. So therefore we will get one plus x same, and this here. Here what you will get first? Initial coefficient is what? That is nothing but your n c zero. N c zero. And the first term is two. And its power should be maximum. That is your eight. Comes to your second. Second term minus x by four. And the power is zero. So this is your first term. Comes to your second term. So second term we will add. Then what we have to do? N C one. N C one. And the first term of this, and the power should from eight to seven. It will reduce it. And for the second term that is minus x by four, the power will get increased from zero to one. Now, just we will solve this. This is nothing but one plus x. Now solve this. So here n c zero, n c zero is nothing but one into two to the power of eight. We will find it out. Two square is four. Two to the power of four is four into four is sixteen. Two to the power of six is Sixteen into four is sixty-four, and two to the power of eight is sixty-four into four is two hundred fifty-six. So here comes two hundred fifty-six, and any number whose power is zero is one. Plus n c one, n c one is what? Nothing but n only. Now into Two to the power of seven. So just check it. So two to the power of six is sixty-four into two. So we will get one twenty-eight into minus x by four. So just reduce it. Four and one twenty-eight. So here you will get three and two. Thirty-two. So now it will be one plus x. And here it will be two fifty six minus thirty two and x. Now solve this. So one into this number is same. So here it will come as two fifty six minus three two and x. So this is one. Now multiply with x. So here we will get plus. Two fifty six x. Now it will come as minus three two n x square. So now we have to solve this, and we have to compare also. So you can see 
what they have given. This is constant without any variables. That means P is 256. So we will write that only. P is equal to 256. This is your x. So they have given x is this. That means zero. So here, what we have to do? We will take zero. So this will come as minus thirty two n x minus thirty two n plus two fifty six. That is equal to zero. So we got this. Just bring this to this side. What it will be? Minus thirty two n. Is equal to minus two fifty six. So minus n minus gone. So now n is equal to two fifty six by thirty two. So two fifty six is nothing but two to the power of eight by thirty two. Thirty two is nothing but two to the power of three five. Two to the power of five. Just bring up. It will be two to the power of eight minus five. That is equal to two cube. That is equal to eight. So therefore, n is eight. So we got eight also. Now we have to solve this. So here comes minus thirty two into eight. That is equal to cube. So just multiply it. So here you will get sixteen one carry twenty four twenty five. That is your Q. So like this we have to find it out the values. So now you can see P is two fifty six, Q is minus two fifty six, and N is eight. So like that we have to do it. <coughs> 